What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you things I love in books. I've been wanting to do this video and since February is the month of love, I decided this would be the perfect time. So I'm going to be sharing my favorite tropes and buzzwords that attract me to a book and giving some recommendations. So if you like any of these, this is a recommendations video. I'm going to get straight into the video because look at my floor. It is a mess and I have a lot of books so I'm going to get right into the video and I have not talked about this in a video yet but I have promoted it on social media and on the community tab but this month on my Patreon I'm hosting a special offer. If you become a patron on either tier, the Paperback Pail or the Bookish Bundle, you are going to receive a personalized book recommendation. There is a link that I set up and I've already been sending them out and it's so fun. I have given really good recommendations, I've gotten good feedback. I post my monthly wrap-ups on there, exclusive content, and I have a Discord where we all talk, and I really love this community on Patreon. So if you'd like to join us, the link is in the description down below, and I would love for you to become a paperback pal. Let's get into the video. So the first thing that I love in books is something that I figured out last year, and this is theater. Any kind of theater element I will read. One of my favorite books that comes out this year is Between Perfect and Real by Ray Stove. This is about a trans boy who gets the role of Romeo in his high school's production of Romeo and Juliet. There is Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett which is one of my favorite contemporaries. This is about a girl named Simone who is born with HIV and she is bisexual and she's also directing her high school's production of Rent. And a book that I really don't talk about a lot and I need to reread is Tell Me Again How a Crush Should by Sarah Farzan. This is a sapphic book about a girl who is Iranian American about her Persian heritage. She's a soccer player and because she crushes on this girl she decides to audition for the high school production of Twelfth Night. I listened to it on audio a while back and I listened to it in one sitting. It's a really short book um, but I do need to go back to this because I just want to refresh myself. I really enjoyed it. It's a great sapphic book with theater in it and I really enjoy it. I'll leave the trigger warnings down below for all of these books but I really enjoyed this one. I think it's very very underrated. Next is something that will not come as a shock to anyone and this is grief and loss. I read a lot of dark contemporaries that talk about grief. I feel like it's my brand at this point. I am going to be doing a whole video on grief book recommendations. It was requested and I really love that idea so I am going to be doing that. If you're a consistent viewer, I have been recommending a lot of books about grief in the past year. So if you watch one of my videos from 2020, there is sure to be a recommendation about grief there. Next is sports. I love books about sports, any sport, but specifically hockey. I gravitate towards books about hockey because it's my favorite sport, but I do like to branch out. There's Running with Lions by Julian Winters, which is set at a soccer camp and it's about a soccer team. He Who Dreams by Melanie Florence is about a Cree boy who is on the soccer team and he also is learning about dancing. My favorite, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. This is about a hockey team. There's trigger warnings for sexual assault. The HBO series just came to HBO Max in the US but I did a trailer reaction when it came to Sweden. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it because honestly HBO Max is expensive. It's like 15 bucks. I don't know what's gonna happen but I would like to do it so I can do like a follow-up video but we'll see what happens. And I have to include Check Please by Nicasia Kozo. I love this graphic novel series. At some point this year I'll also do a dedicated book recommendations for books about sports. Next is epistolary books and this is anything written in text message, email, or letter format and I have several. I love reading dialogue so when a book is letter format or text message it is easier for me to read and I feel like I can get more in touch with the characters. So here are some of my recommendations. Monster by Walter Dean Myers is about a boy who is on trial for a murder that he didn't commit and is written in script format. I love this book. It's one of my favorites. Obviously Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Abertali. This is told in emails. P.S. I Like You by Casey West also has this. It is about a girl who likes music. She writes song lyrics on her desk one day and the next day she comes to class and someone has continued it. And I really like this book. It's one of my favorite Casey West. And Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. This is not told entirely in emails but it's a big portion of the book. It is about two internet friends who have an alias online so they don't know each other's real names. 
the main character ends up in California which is where her friend is from and so she doesn't really tell him that she's there and I really enjoy this book. It's one of my favorite books with this element. Next I'm combining two because this book works for both. This is apartment settings. This is really niche and I don't even know why I like it. I just love it. Like that or a hotel setting. I don't know. Maybe it's just the nostalgia of speaking but I really love this setting and books that incorporate podcasts. This is Lucky Caller by Emma Mills. I really love this book. It's one of my favorites. It is set in an apartment. It is about a girl who has a class project which is another thing I love. Give me a book with a school project. This is about her and her classmates putting a radio show together and I really enjoy it. It's a really great book and there's also a podcast element in Sadie by Courtney Summers. Next is books about music specifically because I love pop punk. There's a lot of elements of pop punk bands in YA. My favorite book is The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfall. It's about three teens who have all lost someone in their life and they connect through this band and it is just such a great book. I love it so much. Honestly, I just want more people to read it. It's so good. Ashley Woodfall is so underrated. On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I listened to this on audio as well and the audio was so great. This is about a girl named Brie who is a rapper and she ends up going viral and it's so good. I loved it so much. The audiobook is so good. Angie Thomas was actually a rapper and I really loved how she incorporated the lyrics and the audiobook. They have the music and all and I loved it so much because I really only have one book for this. Competitions I've learned I really love. Specifically You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I just love any competition. I guess more so because this had like a baking element in it and I love baking competitions but I really enjoyed this. This is about a girl named Liz Letty whose financial aid falls through and her only chance is to try and become homecoming queen. I can assure you I have read this book but for some reason I keep saying homecoming queen and I have just realized that it's prom queen. She is running for prom queen and not homecoming. Thank you. At her school, if you win Homecoming Queen, you get a large sum of money and that would really help her with her tuition. And this is a great book about competitions. I love it. I also love fairy tale retellings or a loose fairy tale retelling. I have the Once Upon a Con series by Ashley Poston. There's Cinderella, The Princess and the Popper, and her latest is Beauty and the Beast. And Aiden Thomas has the Peter Pan retelling coming out next month. And I'm always reading books about queer, trans, or gender non-conforming characters or by those authors. The majority of books I recommended in this video do have that representation, but I will be making my A to Z book recommendations video at the end of the month because the Queer Weekend is going to be coming up in March. Next, I really love books books about summer camp. I love this. Like if there's a book that says it's about camp, I will pick it up. I do have a whole dedicated video to that so I'll have it up above. I will give a content warning because I do have my Hufflepuff flag in the background of that video but I do have really great recommendations in that video. Just a few. I already mentioned Running with Lions. This is set at a soccer camp. Two Night Owl from Dogfish is about two girls whose fathers force them to go to a camp together because they are dating. It's also written in letter format. And my favorite graphic novel, Be Prepared by Vera Broskull is about her experiences at a Russian summer camp. And last, I love reading books about mental health representation. Little in Line by Brandy Colbert has bipolar representation. There is Queen's a Geek by Jen Wilde, which has anxiety and autism representation, which is own voices. And my favorite book is Little Universes by Heather Demetrios, which has depression, grief, and there's also a character with an opioid addiction. That's it for me today. Those are all the things I love in books and if you have any recommendations for the things that I love in books, comment them down below and maybe I'll do a dedicated video where I read your recommendations. And check out my Patreon special offer if you're interested. I will see you all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.